Hi, this is Bob Pachris of SceneDaily.com, and welcome to the Sprint pre-race rundown for the Cobalt Tools 500. After a couple of weeks of racing on the West Coast, NASCAR returns to the East Coast for a month of racing and starts this weekend at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Atlanta is fast, dangerously fast. If you like speed, you like Atlanta. Drivers like it because it's wide and it's a little bit forgiving. You don't hit, need to hit your mark on every turn of every lap. You can even scrape the wall a little bit. Just don't spin out and hit the wall hard because it's going to hurt. This favors guys like Carl Edwards and Kyle Busch, guys who are used to making daring moves. They're the guys who won the races last year at Atlanta. Carl Edwards in October, Kyle Busch back last March. Remember that race in last March? That was the race where Goodyear brought a little bit of a hard tire. They didn't want to have any tire failures. They brought a hard tire. Drivers had a little bit of trouble getting enough grip. They thought it was a little bit dangerous. Goodyear brought back a different tire for Atlanta in October, and they hope that they found the, the, the answers to their tire problems and hope to have a good race here this weekend. Guys who've won in the past at Atlanta are guys like Carl Edwards. He won both races there in 2005. Tony Stewart and Casey Kane won there in 2006, and Jimmy Johnson won both races in 2007. So what does that mean? Jimmy Johnson says it means absolutely nothing. That was with the old car. The new car races differently. You can't translate success in the past at Atlanta to success this year. Edwards is one of the guys who had success last year and could even have more success this year. He could use this race to boost his season just like he did in 2005. Remember when he won his first cup title or first cup race there and, uh, and he really used that to spark his career. Another guy who's used Atlanta to spark a season was Dale Earnhardt Jr. back in 2004. He won the Daytona 500, had a couple of not so great weeks, came back and won Atlanta, won six races in that season. Who will be that person this year? Could be Stewart. He was second in that race a year ago and he's looking for that first win as an owner and driver. And maybe it'll be Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon leads the points, certainly doesn't need momentum, but you know he hasn't won a race in his last 44 times behind the wheel. There are other guys looking for momentum, or to keep their momentum going. The guys like Clint Boyer, who's second in points. Kurt Busch, who's seventh. How about the Michael Waltrip racing guys? David Rudiman is fifth in points. Mikey is twelfth. Another guy who started out really well, Bobby Labonte. He's tenth in points. Labonte has six career wins at Atlanta, the most of any other driver in the field. Bill Elliott has five, and Awesome Bill from Dawsonville will be back in the car this weekend as the Wood Brothers after a two-week break, are back on the racetrack. They decide this year they want to be competitive and not stretch their dollars so thin to try to make a race every week. Will, how will Bill do in front of his hometown crowd? We'll just have to tell by the roar of the Atlanta crowd when he goes out on the track. Well, that's what we've got for you this week as far as the sprint pre-race rundown. We hope that you join us next week. Well, next week's an off week, so unless we're going to sit here and tell you which drivers are going to the Bahamas and which drivers are going hunting, We'll probably skip a week and we'll come back next week and tell you, or two weeks and tell you what's going to happen at Bristol.